The name Sigmund Freud resonates across generations as one of the most influential figures in the field of psychology. Born on May 6, 1856, in Freiburg, Moravia, now Priber, Czech Republic, Freud's extraordinary life was a mosaic of intellectual brilliance, controversies, and an unyielding quest to unravel the intricacies of the human psyche. As the father of psychoanalysis, Freud's groundbreaking theories forever altered our understanding of the mind, leaving an indelible mark on the world of psychology. Before we get started with this exploration of Sigmund Freud's life, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to our channel and turn post notifications on so you never miss out on future uploads. Let's get into it. Freud's journey began in a middle-class Jewish family where his father, Jacob Freud, worked as a wool merchant. Displaying an exceptional intellect from a young age, Freud pursued a medical degree at the University of Vienna. It was during his university years that Freud's interest in neurology and psychology began to blossom, setting the stage for his future revolutionary contributions. Freud's entry into the world of psychoanalysis can be traced back to his collaboration with his friend and mentor, Dr. Joseph Brewer. Together, they delved into the realms of hypnosis and its therapeutic potential, which culminated in the publication of Studies on Hysteria in 1895. However, it was Freud's solo work, The Interpretation of Dreams in 1899, that laid the groundwork for psychoanalysis. In this seminal work, Freud introduced concepts such as the unconscious mind, dream symbolism, and the Oedipus complex, forever altering the landscape of psychology. One of Freud's most enduring and controversial theories is the Oedipus complex, suggesting that children experience unconscious sexual desires for their opposite sex parent, leading to internal conflicts. This theory, along with Freud's emphasis on sexuality as a driving force in human behavior, faced considerable criticism and skepticism even within the psychoanalytic community. Despite the controversies, Freud's ideas gained widespread recognition, sparking intense debates that continue to shape psychological discourse. Freud's impact extended beyond theoretical frameworks to the practical realm of clinical psychoanalysis. He developed therapeutic techniques such as free association and dream analysis, aiming to bring repressed thoughts and emotions to the forefront of conscious awareness. Freud's insistence on the role of the unconscious mind and the exploration of patients' childhood experiences laid the groundwork for modern psychotherapy, influencing generations of clinicians. Freud's personal life was marked by numerous challenges, including health issues, financial struggles, and the rise of anti-Semitism in Austria. In 1938, as the Nazis annexed Austria, Freud and his family fled to London, where he spent the remainder of his life. Despite facing adversity, Freud continued his work, refining his theories and mentoring a new generation of psychoanalysts, leaving an indomitable legacy even in the face of personal and political turmoil. Sigmund Freud's legacy endures through the lasting impact of his ideas on psychology, literature, and popular culture. While some aspects of his theories have been challenged and revised over time, his contributions to the understanding of the human mind remain pivotal. Freud's influence extends beyond the academic realm, permeating art, literature, and film, where his concepts continue to inspire creative explorations of the human psyche. In conclusion, the life of Sigmund Freud is a testament to the power of curiosity, intellectual daring, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. From his early explorations of the unconscious mind to the establishment of psychoanalysis as a discipline, Freud's legacy lives on in the minds of those he inspired. Despite the controversies that surrounded his work, Freud's impact on psychology and our understanding of human behavior remains immeasurable, ensuring that his name will forever be etched in the annals of intellectual history. We hope you found this video to be informative and helpful. If you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing to our channel for more videos like this. Feel free to give ideas to us for future videos in the comments below. We'll see you all in the next video.